it, it's definitely not what most people want to see or hear, but it's not terrible. Definitely not terrible. So let's get to it today. Very, very nice conditions out there. We have got bright skies and, uh, well, 75 degrees. That's the official temp right now in Central Park. We have variable winds right now at just seven miles an hour. The pollen report has been updated. So here is the update. Uh, tree pollen is high. That has been the case, seems like for weeks now, but tree pollen is high once again. Grass is moderate. And then ragweed, weeds, and mold are all low. We're looking at temperatures across the tri-state area that are just in the 70s pretty much across the board. It is definitely mild, just really nice and mild. 69 for Greenwich, but all these uh, locations are in the 70s, so, and for some, the upper 70s. So the one thing we talked about, that elevated fire risk, because the relative humidity is very low. 22% for New York City, 21 for Brick, 42 for Babylon, uh, the Greenwich, and also the Hamptons in the 40s, but still pretty low. So that is the one thing that separates, you know, a, a pretty hot day in May from one in the summer, is that we really are looking at that much lower humidity. We also do have the occasional wind gusts, 18 mile an hour gusts being reported for White Plains and Poughkeepsie. 17 uh, for brick, but 21 mile an hour gusts being reported in Monticello and also out in the Hamptons. So our fire risk is elevated today and again tomorrow. So that's, uh, you know, an issue that we deal with today and tomorrow. It will be lower uh, for Thursday and Friday and then officially low on Saturday. But of course, Saturday is going to bring us a chance for some rain. So take a look. Here's your future cast. This is what we have going on right now. Mostly clear skies, but I think it can make out some clouds starting to creep over, starting to get closer. So we will see increasing clouds this afternoon and this evening. Eventually, We'll also see some cooler temperatures. We've got a disturbance to our west. We have another to the north, and this one is a cold front. So what we're going to see is a, is a, a decrease in temperatures once that front passes the area. So this afternoon, we look at high temperatures that will, for most, be in the upper 70s and low 80s, very mild uh, out there, feeling more like June. Then the front moves through, and uh, suddenly tomorrow's temperatures are feeling like fall uh, in high temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. So there will be a pretty Pretty big difference. And then Thursday, we follow suit. It'll be kind of cold, really. Uh, Thursday morning, and then another day of chilly temps. As far as rain is concerned, we have only a 10% chance of a shower late tonight. Our next chance for rain is really on Saturday and again on Sunday. So your first alert seven day forecast shows today is really a beauty. Increasing clouds, but a high of 81. Tomorrow's high just 66. Temperatures return to normal this weekend, Chris, but we do have a chance of rain on both Saturday and Sunday.